Hi, this is Bill Word. I'm a sales engineer at Digi International. Today I'm going to walk through a quick setup of building a VPN from a Digi Transport out to, we'll call it a VPN concentrator. It's actually another Digi Transport on the other end, which is sort of important to note here before I get started, is that Digi Transport routers can be a VPN uh, client, if you will. That's not really the true word a VPN initiator, as well as a VPN terminator. Uh, a lot of times we'll call it responder. So you can use it either way. Um, so I'm using one of our DigiTransport WR21s on LTE, and I'm going to log in uh, with my default username and password, which I strongly recommend you change. But uh, for now, we'll leave it at, at, the, uh, at its uh, uh, default level. So here you see a screen. This is kind of what pops up. There's some Java stuff here, which I've disabled. It would normally show you a picture of the, the front panel of the transport, which is kind of cool. But we know about Java issues, so we have that disabled. And I already have it configured for my LTE plan. And here on this screen, you can see the mobile IP address. Uh, please don't try to hack into me at that. Uh, I'll keep you out anyway with my firewall, which we'll discuss in another one of our little sessions. So built into the transport, to help simplify building a VPN tunnel is a VPN wizard. And it takes a second or two for this Python wizard to start. And oh, by the way, that's another thing that the Gigi Transport products support is Python. Python's an open source programming language, which allows the user to do custom things on here. But we're going to create an aggressive mode land-to-land -land IPsec tunnel. Uh, there are different modes. There's actually two modes used in IPsec, uh, aggressive mode and made mode. And we'll just use aggressive mode because that's what most people will be using throughout the world. And it is important to note that these products are sold worldwide. So my tunnel description, I'm just going to call it test. And for my destination address, uh, again, this is one of my cohorts routers. I'm going to use that address there. I'll say next. And this wizard really, really, really helps keep things simple for us. So I'm using my name is our ID. And again, I recommend doing things a little more secure than this. But again, for our test, let's keep it simple. And my coworker, his ID is Zach. And again, this is another transport that we're terminating into. But it could just as well be a Cisco or a Juniper or Checkpoint or whatever the case may be. And for my pre-shared key, I'm keeping it simple there. I'm using test as well. We do so support the use of X.509 certificates. Uh, most people will choose to use pre-shared keys because, well, they're just simpler. Uh, my local network, as you can see in my browser here, is 192.168.1.1. I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, and the subnet will be uh, a Class C subnet. Now, his remote network is 172, and I'm lazy, so I'll use the fill-in, except it's not 5. It's actually .16.1.0.255.255.0. Next. Now we're going to decide how we're going to protect the traffic. We have determined what the VPN endpoint is. We've determined what networks we're going to protect. Now we decide how we're going to protect that traffic. So we selected AES, and we're going to use 192, sort of medium security. We do support 256, as you saw there. We always recommend using SHA-1. Uh, I'm going to keep the defaults for the lifetimes. I'm going to use AES again, 192 and SHA-1, and yeah, I've got a little web bug here. We're going to take care of that. You notice that the buttons end up in the middle of the text, but it still works. So I'll say next, and you notice there's some help information in here as we go through this. So what this is asking us, when do we want to establish the tunnel? And if I check this box, which I'm going to, it will bring the tunnel up immediately upon, in this case, our mobile connection come up. And just FYI, the mobile connection will be on PPP1. I click Next. Now, assuming that Zach has left his transport up on the other end, it's going to do a ping. And you see here, 
ping of destination address succeeded. Uh, the IPsec has been enabled on PPP1. We disconnected PPP1 momentarily, the mobile connection, so that the new IPsec settings can take effect. This then shows you if you need to go back in and make manual changes, which you might need to, this is where you would do it. You would go into IKE0, or you would go into eRoutes, which is uh, also a VPN tunnel, user 0, and you're going to save your changes here. And it's important to save your changes so that if, when you reboot, those changes are going to be there. Okay, the config was officially saved. Now, the question is, hmm, did my VPN tunnel work? Well, first thing I can do is I can go to the event log. And I can look here to see that IKE Phase 2 initiator and my eRoot, and again, eRoot stands for encrypted root. That's some legacy stuff that, that, that basically has been there ever. It's just what the, we call the, the VPN policy is called an eRoot. If you looked in the uh, command line, that's what you would see. I can also go under connections. I can go into VPN connections, IPsec, and I've got several different ways to look at it. So let's look at the IKE SA. SA, by the way, stands for Security Association, and we can see that that Security Association is there. We get a little more data here under the VPN tunnel so that we can see both the outbound and the inbound security associations. And with IPsec, there will always be two per tunnel, one outbound and one inbound. And if I want to do a quick test just to make sure that I can pass traffic, I go under Execute a Command. I do ping. And the transport on the other end, and again, I'll be lazy here. The transport on the other end is 172.16.1.1. Now, I put minus E0 at this, at the end of this statement, because I want to source the traffic from Ethernet 0, which is the local Ethernet interface, on my transport WR21. I click Execute, and bang, there you can see that the ping goes through. And that is setting up an IPsec VPN tunnel. Check our YouTube channel, and we'll have more stuff later. Thank you.